ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Micro Universe in WWE 2K20. This is episode 16, and we're kicking things off with the new North American champion, Dante Inferno. After an absolute match of the year contender against Matt Riddle at NXT TakeOver, the end. Dante Inferno capturing the NXT North American Championship after beating Matt Riddle just days ago at TakeOver, the end. It was an absolutely incredible match, but in the end, Inferno came out on top capturing his first bit of gold here on the NXT brand and you saw after that match in the last episode a sign of respect from one half of the Inferno bro Matt Riddle basically handing the towel to Inferno saying hey you were the better man here tonight but don't think I'm not coming back for that title but the point is Inferno got it done this past Saturday and I think we're going to be hearing from the new North American champion right now on NXT Oh my god, it feels so good to be here and to be able to say Dante Inferno is your new North American Champion. Man, it feels amazing to finally have some hardware around my waist and hey, take nothing away from the man who I defeated to get this belt, Matt bro incredible thank you but without being too emotional out here this is a celebration and so let the celebrations begin oh wait a second the celebrations can't begin yet because here comes the leader of the undisputed era the nxt champion adam cole baby Dante, I, no, 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 when I said celebration, this is not what I meant, I don't give a crap what you meant, I have had it with you, I tried to offer you a spot in the greatest faction known to man the Undisputed Era a couple weeks ago, and you respond by almost breaking my jaw, uh, yeah, I enjoyed that, to be honest with you, well, I didn't, you cost me a few teeth, you son of a bitch, I don't understand how that would be a problem considering, and this may come as a shock to most, but your girlfriend is literally a dentist, listen, this is the last time I'm gonna tell you. You keep her out of your mouth. But what if I have a cavity or something and I need a dentist to refer to? Won't she need to be in my mouth? Shut up! Sh just shut up! I'm sick of this. You want me so bad? You think this is your NXT when it really isn't? The UE, one way or another, is getting that title back. And if Umberto can't do it himself, then I guess the NXT champion will have to step in to finish the job. Oh my god, finally! I've waited a long time for this moment, but I'm not gonna simply give you a title shot because you haven't earned it, nah. You gotta put something on the line too. Well, I'm not putting my title on the line because you haven't earned it either. No, no, not that. Uh, something else. Something like... your hair. What? What? My hair? Yeah, if I beat you tonight and I retain my title, you have to shave your head bald. It'll be NXT's first ever title versus hair match. You know what? It's irrelevant because it's just a matter of time. I'm bringing that title back to the UE and then we will go into war games and dominate like we always have at that event. So you know what? You're on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event here on NXT in NXT's first ever title versus hair match. Adam Cole finally versus Dante Inferno for the North American Championship. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the NXT North American Introducing the challenger, representing Undisputed Era from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, Adam Cole! Baby! At long last, Adam Cole faces Dante Inferno. Inferno has wanted this match for months. Of course, Inferno has wanted it for the NXT Championship, but if Inferno can win here, not only will Adam Cole have to shave his head bald, but Inferno will have pinned the NXT Champion. What a wave of momentum that will be. Just captured the NA title, and now if he can pin the, the NXT Champion, you know he's going to get an opportunity at that title then. 
that soul fantasy right now the one thing we know for sure as of now is that this is hair versus tarot if adam cole loses he has to shave his head bald if inferno loses he loses that their belt the nxt north american championship that he just won by the way a couple days ago at takeover the end from matt well you know inferno's only been at nxt here for what eight or nine months now probably less than that actually since takeover new york where he debuted in the crowd after adam cole was just about to win the north uh, the nxt championship excuse me which he still holds after being Johnny Gargano on that night. And Inferno, don't make a mistake about it. He has been a champion all around the world before he came to NXT, but now he is an NXT champion. Or in the sense that he is NXT North American champion, but he is a champion on the NXT brand. He is a kind of caliber superstar that can get it done in a high pressure situation. He proved that at TakeOver The End, and he may just prove that here tonight on NXT. It's a lot easier said than done because he's in there with a man who has been NXT champion for a very long time now, almost one calendar year in Adam Cole. And a man in Adam Cole in, in his own right who has been champion all around the world but for Inferno this isn't just about the hair this isn't just about the North American Championship it's about finally paying the debt that Adam Cole owes to him you've seen it unfold everything that has happened the all out war trying to get him to join the UE screwing him over time after time this is it for Inferno he just wants his hands on Adam Cole Bay Bay but the stakes have been raised because that there championship the beautiful red and gold is on the line and so is those beautiful locks of Adam Cole Bay Bay as Inferno looks at that NXT North American Championship, will this be the final time of that reign though? Will, I mean, <laughs> simply put, will Inferno pull in Humberto Carrillo and lose the title almost instantly here at NXT? That is what it's all about. The stakes can't get much higher than this. Adam Cole's hair versus Inferno's title. As Adam Cole makes some last minute adjustments, Inferno is focused. Cole versus Inferno at long last. The ref rings the bell and we're off. And look at this Inferno straight away with the chops, but Cole countering and Cole takes him down. But look at that inferno caught him we know these two men have never met one-on-one -on -one before until tonight but they have certainly crossed paths many times over the last couple of months they know each other's maneuvers they know each other's repertoires and inferno is going to take advantage of that here there's a massive elbow in a second a counter though by Ann Cole, counter Irish whip and now inferno is on the apron here and look at this he's saying this is my nxt and adam cole oh look at that inferno says come on a counter by oh wait a second that was a back and forth sequence that just kept going back and forth and adam cole tapping his head saying hey roll safe I am smarter than you Inferno inside and outside of the ring look at this just driving Inferno into the concrete there and Adam Cole soaking it in here at Full Sail University oh my god Inferno said crashing into those steel steps there by Adam Cole baby but now look at this Inferno responds in kind and does it himself as the referees on a count of six here Adam Cole responds with a forearm and now Adam Cole throwing Inferno back in the ring Adam Cole understands full well that if he gets a count out victory a double count out he will lose his hair because that tech counts as both men losing the matchup and if you get a double count out you can't win the North American Championship the only way I mean Inferno has in champions advantage the only way you can win the North American Championship is via pinfall or submission in the middle of the ring and Inferno knows he has championship advantage and he's gonna take advantage of that but also the only way Inferno can shave the head of Adam Cole is if uh, if he wins by pinfall or submission and retains the belt he doesn't get to shave his head if he wins via count out those are rules that uh, William Regal our general manager has put into play here tonight as there's an Irish whip and now oh again there's a huge forearm by Inferno. And now Inferno. Look at this. Aztec press. Hello, Humberto Carrillo. But now Adam Cole with a counter knee there. And look at this. Adam Cole. There's a reason he's been NXT champion for so long. It isn't our pure look. This Adam Cole kid. Don't make any mistake about it. He is talented. Look at this. Adam Cole. Oh my god. There's the super kick. The second one. That second super kick there. You saw it. It busted Inferno wide open. And now Inferno is going to get his head driven into the mat with that exposed cut. And Adam Cole knows exactly what his game plan is now. Expose the cut. Weaken down Inferno last shot and win yourself a title but Inferno isn't going to go down that easily he will not go quietly into the night and now an Irish rip into the corner by Inferno and what the hell is he thinking wait a second counter by Adam Cole and now Adam Cole he's going to pick Inferno up and drop him on his neck my god <laughs> and Inferno still kicks out there in the first cover of this matchup and Adam Cole couldn't quite believe it he thought he had it done but now he might have it done here if he can connect with this because you know what he's going for he's going for the last shot and here we go off the ropes and he connects with it it is over already and it's over for Inferno. He's going to pull a career after all. Oh, oh my God, no. Adam Cole can't believe that wasn't it. Did he go to the well too early? There's a reason they're called a finishing move in the world of professional wrestling, and that's because you weaken down your opponent and then finish them off. If you go for your finisher time after time, it just isn't going to work the same as it would at the 
end of the match but Adam Cole saying this is his NXT and this time Inferno counters and again Adam Cole with an Enziguri. <laughs> yeah, Adam Cole baby, you can't forget his name. He says it at least three times a match and Inferno with a shoulder barge. And now throwing Adam Cole back in the ring and you remember by the way, it was a champion versus champion when, well, the then North American champion Matt Riddle one week ago on NXT, it was Cole versus Riddle and Dante Inferno paid dividends by playing the distraction and pulling out the UE playbook essentially. He played a big part in the distraction that cost Adam Cole that match just one week ago, giving Riddle the momentum heading into take over the end. There's been a countless amount of times that the UE have screwed Inferno out of matches, namely being takeover Toronto too. It was Carrillo versus Inferno for the North American Championship initially in the finals of the North American Championship tournament. And on that night, it was a high-low and a last shot from Cole Fish and O'Reilly that would seal the deal for Carrillo capturing the title. And of course, Carrillo would then lose the title just days later to Matt Riddle who would make his return on NXT. This isn't the same Inferno that arrived in NXT at TakeOver New York. This is a, a refined Inferno. Simply put, this is North American Championship Inferno and he is proving that he is simply better than the rest. Adam Cole picking him up here for a suplex. Inferno essentially saying multiple times now, oh wait a second, look at this. Inferno has just caught Adam Cole into the LaBelle lock. The LaBelle lock, the crossface is locked in. Is Adam Cole going to tap out here for the North American Championship as this is awesome chance are raining around full sail. Adam Cole gets out of it though. Now Adam Cole, oh wait a minute, I think he was going for the last shot there, but it was countered by Inferno, countered by Adam Cole, and he, oh, there's the drop toe hold by Adam Cole, and now Cole, he went for a move there, countered by Inferno. This is awesome chance of Thunder, and look at this from Inferno, oh, but Adam Cole gets out of it. I mean, hey, Inferno isn't the dirtiest player in the game, but when it comes to Adam Cole, you know he's going to play dirty just because of what they've done to him, you really can't blame him, hey, if someone's going to play dirty, you've got to respond in kind, that's just the way you've got to do it here in NXT. And there are many a man who can run around saying they are simply better than the rest, but when it comes to Inferno, he will show you who is truly the best. But right now, Inferno is suffering at the hands of Adam Cole, who is just dishing out offense to Dante. Now, Adam Cole, what the hell is Cole thinking here? This is bad. This is very bad for the North American champion. Again, a suplex. And this is what Cole likes to do. He likes to methodically build his momentum in matches. Oh my God, look at that slap of disrespect from Adam Cole. Certainly no love lost between these two men. But now Inferno with a counter. And look at this. Dante Inferno's feeling it here at NXT. And there goes Adam Cole. And now this brought a spill to the outside. There's a huge neck break. And this is our main event here on NXT. Hair versus title. Inferno's North American Championship that he just won days ago at TakeOver the End from Riddle versus Adam Cole's hair. The hair of the NXT Champion is on the line. And there's a huge final flash. Speaking of Riddle. Paying homage to one half of the Inferno, bro. And this is it. Oh, no. Adam Cole with a kick out. And look at this styling and profiling Woo! Inferno is looking for that decisive end now here we go Dante Inferno with the roundhouse kick to the gut and now Inferno big drop kick there Inferno going for another one and now he's going to get the trifecta yes it is there's the neck breaker oh, wait a second now look at this the straight jacket DDT as well and just like that Inferno turns the tide of this one is this it for his head no a kick up by Adam Cole look at this just doling out those punches Inferno is oh my god you saw the last one busted Cole wide open and look at this Inferno's waiting for Cole to get to his feet what does he have planned here oh wait a second Cole gets back in the ring he had it scouted and quickly I think Inferno was going to go for a suicide death. oh he went for a super kick Inferno counters with a super kick of his own oh Inferno says come on Adam Cole is that all you got miss me with that super kick have one of my own and now Inferno Inferno overdrive now going for the cover oh wait a second Adam Cole Adam Cole with a counter Adam Cole with a counter the possum pin oh no unbelievable conjoined twins close from these two men there in that cover this has been incredible main event action here on NXT Inferno wanted to get the cover off that Inferno overdrive but Adam Cole with a counter and there's a counter by Inferno now and a counter by Adam Cole Iris whip counter another counter elbow straight to the jaw and now what the oh my goodness I think we saw this at takeover the end to Riddle and Adam Cole is about to suffer the same fate Matt Riddle did at takeover the end if I know anything by it Adam Cole is about to suffer from Dante Inferno a Spanish fly off the top row. Holy mamma mia. Now Inferno. Oh, wait a second. Let's go for the Inferno overdrive with the Spanish fly. But Adam Cole again. Ever resilient. Bay Bay counter. But again, a kick out by the North American champion Dante Inferno. Now an Irish rip into the corner here. These two men are throwing everything in the park bench at each other here in this one. 225 pounds and he flies around like his name's Rey Mysterio. And look at this Inferno overdrive again. Off the Aztec presses. 
Dante to the Inferno Overdrive and Cole is now bold. Oh my god, Dante Inferno is still North American champion. And Adam Cole is going to have to become Adam Bowl. An unbelievable match. Inferno retains and Cole loses his hair. He's still NXT champion, but he's going to have to shave it all off now. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this! Adam Cole has had his head shaved! Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome Adam Bold, baby! Rest in peace to the luscious locks of the undisputed one. Adam Cole loses here tonight, and now he's lost his hair. He may still be NXT champion, but this is a night where North American champion Dante Inferno has truly had the last laugh.